sex story. pledge. So I'm we're sorry. all right. So after sex pledge, we cry in. <laughs> so we're at the zoo. She's way into it, and then, you know, when a girl, when, when you guys know you're women, you know, when you're into it, things are happening, right? Oh no! No, no, no! It's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Things are happening. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. No, no, the no. cop shows up. And no, 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 no. The the, the security of the zoo, security. which are okay. great men, and thank you for what you do. But anyway, <laughs> they show up. It gets weird. We buzz off, right? And it is a bit. Uh, it's kind of. It wasn't the best move in the world to get a license plate that says Mrs. Hip on her van. Not I've exposed oh, yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of easy. Right? Oh, come on. <laughs> we spell. Anyway, it's so. the van that has all the dents on every side. <laughs> yeah, so we hit in the van all the time. We're always knocking it around. Yeah. So we left the zoo, and she was way into, let's get on this now. She was doing everything she could to just say, hey, let's just, while I'm driving, while I'm driving. I mean, what, I mean you, were, you were down for anything. You had legs and feet and hands were flying all over the place. I'm like, this is insane. And she's driving at the same time. It's almost like driving in a cab in New York. I mean, you're flying on the side. You feel that you're totally safe for some reason in that one area. That one time. It was like that. I, I did not fear for my life one bit. And she wanted to continue the activities, but as quickly as she could. She took me to the dodgiest streets of the world. I mean, you go to the zoo. You take the wrong turn. Oh, yeah. You're straight out of Compton. I mean, we were down certain turns. I'm thinking, oh, my God. I mean, I felt very, I mean, I felt you more You were feeling secu- violated? I felt more secure. But he was violated. I felt more secure with the beaver in the zoo parking lot than I did than I did down these these ghetto the, streets. The security guy. <laughs> yes, I was like, yeah. You know, I was hoping he'd take a picture of his balls and send them to me. Give me some motivation. Like, okay, maybe, okay. But really, it, 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 you took me to these dodgy places. In the end, we did it in a hospital parking lot that night. We did. I won't say what hospital. That wasn't we, that wedding. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Okay. That was the wedding that was at. Uh, wow, there's oh, multiple. That was the, that was the outside wedding. My friend the Shauna. zoo wasn't our yeah. My, oh, that's right. After yeah, Shauna's the wedding. zoo one, we ended up going to, to the a hotel, hotel parking, parking lot. lot. Right, <laughs> went to a hotel. We sat there. We sat there in the parking lot, right? And she says, you know, we could get a room. We've, we I mean, we've got a sitter. We could get a room. I'm like, yeah, we could get a room. I'm thinking, we could shower, we could snuggle multiple times, do crazy stuff because. In a minivan, you're so constricted with what you can do. Yeah. You can't really indulge everything that I like to indulge. I like to just go nuts, man. Just tear the thing apart. And you, well, not, and not, well. <laughs> Figuratively speaking, of course. Figuratively speaking, <laughs> yeah. So we're basically, uh, we're in this hotel parking lot. We're actually debating, do we get a room or do we just go for it right here? To and make we, a long story short, we didn't get a room. Yay! We did it right there. And I counted, I, counted, but I counted three people walking and checking into the hotel. I mean, they could totally tell what was going on. We were fogged up, man. They fogged up. see anything. So a, va- I, a van is fogged up that's rocking. Have you guys... It's pretty self explanatory Is this the first time you've been interviewed together on a show? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes it has. You're, you're the very first one to ever interview Joe and Lashawn Hipperson wow. together. Wow. It's like we're... No, but we've kept so much back. Maybe we'll be for the first time. No, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> but we've kept so much back so because... So you said the first time, does that mean there'll be more? If, yeah, definitely. <laughs> if you wanted good. to bring... <laughs> if you wanted to bring us back. Oh, with Joe here? What? <laughs> Joe, oh, hi. All right, no. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I'm still here. I haven't, I haven't disappeared to give you guys your menage wine or whatever your situation is. No, but we've held a lot back, which is a good thing, because we can always come back and have sequels and, you know, prequels. Even. I'm wondering, like, what can come after this that would... A lot of things could come right after this, seriously. Oh, come on, don't get dirty. But, <laughs> no, really, we can do a lot more. We've, we, we've only scratched the surface, really. I mean, because I think what would be fun is to take, you know, certain things that people... This is sexy in St. Louis, right? Mm-hmm. I was anticipating debates on what is and what isn't sexy. I was going to... I'm going to shut up. She gave me that look that I should No, I wasn't giving you You're that You're totally look. giving me well, that look. Well, I think my ideal for this show would actually be that it wind up turning into a just call-in mm-hmm. type of show. So yeah. people would ask you what's sexy then, right? Well, well, they could ask me questions or, you know, we could have a guest in here and asking them questions and talking about it and stuff May like that. May I ask that, you a question? Sure. What is the sexiest part of a woman that is most commonly not thought of as sexy? That if I'm looking at them, I'm asking or, you. What do you think is the is the sexy? I'll ask the choker too. That, <laughs> what do you think when it comes to women? How, how did I get this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, so what what it's, is the question? When it comes to women, uh-huh. there's obvious. Right? There's, there's the obvious. There's you know, TNA and all that. It's so not. What you, that was not a. That was not a drunk spill. That was my. No, God. I think it's, <laughs> it's, it's extremely on task. On task. I am. It's, hard, it's really really warming. I'm, I'm going to start taking layers off. I have off, that and then problem with people. Sure. Jugs and everything. Um, what I was saying is, out of all the parts of a woman that are commonly shown in advertisements, mm-hmm. right? You'll see 
a lot of times they do the little belly area, right? You know, the little belly button is that sort of sexy, or this little area here, or the lips, obviously TNA areas. What do you think is the most uncommon place and never really talked about, but is the sexiest part on so a person? So we're talking body parts. Yes. Yeah. The sexiest body part for you that you think most people just don't even give a rat's ass about. There. Uh, okay. It could if be a guy I'm or a girl. Looking, oh, guy or girl? If it's more comfortable for you to answer for a guy. I don't even think of a guy. So a girl, actually, like the shoulder blades, like the, part, the back. Like the like middle of the back, back of the blades kind yeah. of have meat. Yeah. If they that, were, I think, is sexy. If the blades were indicating that that woman had had her arms around someone or her arms, arms were, were yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, like, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do my buffalo bill. <laughs> yeah. I think that that. Yeah. Goodbye, like, horses. When you, see, when you see that curve, like the back. Yeah. Because you never really see that, do you? Right. And that's why I think is truly sexy are the special spots that maybe you can enjoy or appreciate. Granted, a woman with a beautiful face or a beautiful body or a great silhouette, everyone's going to say it's attractive. But when you can find that one spot on someone you really appreciate that you know is your spot, I think that's great. I think that's really cool. What do you got? What's yours? I The earlobe. No. no. <laughs> hey, you know, don't laugh about that. She's got a friend with an earlobe fetish. Freak me out, man. Every time I see her now, I just I go like this. <laughs> I have a belly button thing. Really? Don't yeah, tell me how to put your finger in the belly button. No. Do you? She does. It's creepy. It's just wrong. <laughs> I like my belly button licked. Licked? For real. I'm not going to get weird. For real. Like, there are certain times that I really like my belly button licked. Wow. Like, really like it licked. I'm okay. learning some new things. No, you knew this. <laughs> well, no, wait, um, when you said, no, but so, if I were, were going to pick a spot, that's not the spot that I would pick. Okay, but I, on your belly button, though, for example, if you don't mind me asking. No, when you say there's certain times I really like it, like, do you talk about certain times when other things are being taken care of, or you mean other times in your life? No, there are certain times, I, I can't tell you that it's cyclical or anything, there are certain times that I have very, very sensitive belly button. I mean, like, near-orgasm sensitive belly button. Jeez, but, I'll trade you belly button. <laughs> <laughs> you should have pierced yours, maybe you have the same thing, you never know, man, you could have killed it off. For real. I mean, I, I've never, you know what's wild is I've never heard that before. And that's another testament to your show. I've never heard that before. I've never heard anybody say that before. I've heard the earlobe thing that you were making a joke on. Uh-huh. She's got a friend who's got way into earlobes. I mean, she just stares said at that. Him. I know. I didn't say her name, though. It's fine. You're waiting for me to say her name, aren't you? Don't say her name. I'm not going to say her name. I won't say her So, name. what would your part be? <laughs> I said, the part spine. that you would appreciate, the spine. Mm-hmm. Actually being able to see it. Actually, being able to see it. What I mean is, we like don't a, want like a, her anorexia. No, no, no. Like, like, okay. I'm like skeleton you guys know, spine. Like, that's not going to do it for me. Like Giger, you know the painter Giger, the guy from Switzerland. Mm-mm. Nothing. Okay, he uh, is okay. So what you're saying is, I'm sorry. Um, so it's not like skeleton, not like a skeleton, but being able to see it that, through that that dip right in the center of the back for the yeah. spinal column. I think that's very sexy. You right? and that's like a part you just like to look at, and you just. It's run a part your hand that you over like a bit. To run your tongue down. Yeah. It's, a part, yeah. it's a very erotic part of the body. And you see, I think that's what's really cool is knowing that there are those parts out there that no one ever caters to. Nobody ever thinks, hey, we're going to really market Pepsi. We're going to really market it to the shoulder blades. You, know, you never yeah. see Pepsi came between shoulder blades. You never so, what it. about you? Well, I'm asking you, Miss Nam, and you can't reverse it. But it's my show. I know it's your show. <laughs> but you said that I could still host my show. So of course you, you can. Brought up a great question, so now I'm asking you. Why are you giving me that look? I'm just looking at you. Well, I think there's a difference between what I find subtly extremely sexy and It doesn't other... have to be me. It could just it be you. women in general. No, it's not women in general. I've got a thing. You know, I've got a thing, but I don't uh-huh. want to get weird about it. You know, I get really embarrassed about it. Wow. Are you going to answer the question? Should I answer it honestly? Yeah. Oh, good Lord. It's so... It, it's, it's fine. I've been known... <clears throat> oh, God. Do you have family watching? He has a foot fetish. I was just going to say, he must have a foot fetish. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Something. He must have a foot fetish. Oh, my God. What is because that? Because you were so it's like, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. It's not a big deal. And it was still the way you're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I feel like a freak. Yeah, oh, I, if he's a freak, that... must be a foot fetish. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think Thanks. you think it's a bigger deal than... I was going to say it. We think it's a big deal you're making out of it. It's like... Well, it's a bit bizarre because some people, they've got, I mean, that's the other thing too. Some people have a real hang up on that. Some people hate that. I mean, some women hate theirs more than anything in the world, which in a weird way is like an erotic turn on because when it's sand or weather, they have no choice and you know they're exposing an area that they can't stand. It's really bizarre. It's weird. Sorry. And Lashana, what about you? Well, it's obviously not on me. I mean, I, can't, I saw the way you're like, oh shit. Okay, that's fine. Right, what's yours? <laughs> I, I haven't really thought about it. 
thought about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, whole, like, conversation. the whole conversation. You should have been thinking about you it. You could have even like dinner. Look in one of ours. We're all out to dinner. I order first. You know, we all take turns ordering. You, you haven't even ordered the menu yet. Yeah, no. I, I'm an ass girl. I just like asses. Are we talking about women? I really do. Yeah, women, men. Like, I do. I even, even the monkeys at the zoo. I, see, I, 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 see. Can't, I stare at their pink butts. They're just cute. But no, seriously, I, I do. I like butts. And you cannot lie. Nope. <laughs> I can't. So what can we expect in the future from Joe and Lashana? I have no way you, of answering You can't that. expect anything. That's what, when he was talking about the whole scripted thing, you know, I even think that families sometimes feel like they have to fall into this certain, you know, that, that you know, you have... Sunday dinners, and this is how you act when you go to the zoo, and this is what you do when you go shopping, and this is how the Christmas presents have to be. And they, yeah, they know how we act. We totally <laughs> go against, yeah, yeah, seriously. We like beavers, but hopefully um, not with the kids. Right, no, no. Well, but we go yeah, they against. They got to earn some No, it's so, that's so white trash. My God. Sorry. We go against everything. And, and it's, it can be a good thing at times, and it can be a really bad thing where I can be like, okay, seriously, we're in Walmart right now. Quit yelling. You know, we, we got to take it down a little bit, you know? But we're always <laughs> extreme no matter what we're doing. So That's right, we are. We're very extreme what we do. We're not dull, really we're not boring. I couldn't say what you could expect in the future. Well, too many people get married out of convenience and they get married out of, well, I guess might as well, you know, he's broken down my will by this point, so I might as well say yes. But somebody, <laughs> oh, right. And we know people that have done that. We know people that get married and it's just, there's nothing there. There's a spark there. And I don't respect that. I mean, if you're going to do something, you do it. We only have such a short, short period of time on this earth. And, you know, for guys, any guys out there, all we are is a bunch of old men at a bar swapping stories. So don't you want the best ones? Don't you want to know that you did it all? Or maybe you don't even want to be the old man at the bar. You want to just go out and blaze a gory. And just bottom better. line it here. I get bored easy. It I really does. do. So if it's, it's kind boring, of like I move around a lot, talk I, real fast, I got to change things up. up yeah. and, and I, I tune out that, really I know easily. that feeling. When's your birthday? June 19th. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be 25. Hers is the 12th. Oh, cool. Yeah. What does that mean? Is that like an astrological? She was thing? thinking that it would be more astrologically. I was thinking that we would be more astrologically co- connected. Connected uh-huh. because we're very similar. Like when you're explaining yourself and stuff like that. And her and I are like Nine fire dope. and ice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's literally. When's your birthday? September. Really? September 16th. Oh, exactly one month before mine. Wow, that means something. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a connection. There is, I, I, he keeps <laughs> glancing at my breasts when he. Has, he well, look, I'm sorry, but wait, if I took if I took it out and put it on the table, you I couldn't would, help but look at it, right? I, I mean, would. It's the same I, but kind I'd of be thing. staring at it. I mean, like, That's my point. Wow. They're not on the table. Occasionally, I'm like, oh my god, she has breasts. And they're right there. I mean, I know you do, and yours are nicely exposed and covered at the same time. You. Why are you doing kind of like nice. yours are? Nah. Nicely exposed and covered at the same. Oh my god, are you kidding? That, but it's good. Oh, yours are great. I don't need you to tell me because I know. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. No, everything about you. I worship everything about you. Every little bit. So are we going to find more on Joe Uncensored? Uh, yeah, because it yeah. looks like you guys are starting to add a whole lot more yeah. onto um, it. The intention is to update it as frequently as possible. Um, I've actually started putting together a couple of apps, uh, which you didn't even know about, actually. But um, I'm putting together an Ask Lashana app that people can put on their mobile devices so that anytime, anywhere, they can Oh, thank God. Ask because there, there have been a few moments since I've seen that that I've been oh. at a stoplight and going... God, if I only had LaShawna, I could have asked this question. I figured an Ask, <laughs> an ask LaShawna app, I think, oh. is a very, very good idea, and I'm currently talking to a couple people about it, and if anybody out there thinks that they should talk to me about it, joeuncensored.com, check it out, find me, and yeah, I'm trying to put together an Ask LaShawna app, I think it would be genius. And we need a wine sponsor. Oh, I've got, I have, I have, there's Serenity Valley Winery out in O'Fallon, they actually private label, and they make, you can make your own For real, recipe. you don't want Oh, really? neat. Yeah. So you can have a Lashana wine. Yes, right? because I'm, I've been talking to, or I've had this, I don't think I've actually talked to her. I had the idea while I was in there. <laughs> but we're going to talk. Serenity Valley Winery, it's out on um, Highway K in O'Fallon. It's okay. right there off of 40 and K. But they'll, they make the wine there, and you can go in, you can create your own recipe, 
and you can private label it. Wow, yeah. oh, that's neat. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Sexy in St. Louis wine? Yeah, I would drink it. Ask Lashana wine. Yeah. Or yeah, or we could come up with a mutual way of just, remember earlier we said that sex could be mutually shared and all that stuff. I mean, from a certain sex point of view. Sex can mutually be shared? I said that it's sexier than being mutually shared, equal and even. We could have sex. My mind's going in way. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Ooh, it is 